Right, so we're going to do something a bit different in this video. We're going to do Q&A, but I'm not just going to answer one question. I'm actually going to answer several questions at the same time. So the first question is from Jasil, and he says, I've tried to have my first lucid dream and tried to succeed with that, but then I feel like when I'm in it, I sort of immediately wake up. How can I avoid awakening during lucid dreaming? Well, what you can do is you can start to look at prolonging your lucid dream. So for example, doing things like rubbing your palms together during the dream. You can look at spinning round. You can look at spinning round on the spot. These are all things that are gonna sort of make the dream a bit longer. Next question is, are binaural beats effective? Now, for those of you who don't know, a binaural beat is like an audio track which plays a certain frequency in, in each ear. Different frequencies in each ear, and then your brain perceives the difference between the frequencies, allowing you to experience frequencies that otherwise you would never been able to experience. By doing that, you put your brain waves into a certain state and you can get binaural beats packages, for example, that move your brain waves into a state that is very susceptible to lucid dreaming. Yes, they work. Yes, they're very effective, but not all of them work because there are different levels of quality associated with them. Uh, you know, for example, the companies that are actually set up properly will make good quality beats and obviously they'll cost a bit more, but then if you go to YouTube and look for free binaural beats, they're not gonna be as effective. The next question comes from someone asking about sleep paralysis. Now, the thing with sleep paralysis is it does happen for everybody. You know, every night you experience sleep paralysis, or at least sleep paralysis happens, but you're only aware of it if you're gonna be in a lucid dream or if you're trying to, you know, stay awake during that process. So there's nothing really to worry about, just bear in mind that if you're trying to lucid dream, if you're trying to lucid dream, sleep paralysis will obviously be a fact. Next question from Pervesh, is it true that apple juice gives you lucid dreams? Well, not directly, but it has been sh sort of spoken about online, especially uh, on Reddit, it has been reported to have some sort of effect, although it's unclear whether that's just because, you know, maybe the, the sugar in it has some sort of effect or something like that. By the way, guys, I'm getting a lot of emails um, which are really long and detailed. Obviously, that's that's really good, and it's great that you're showing so much detail, but it's obviously a lot harder and it takes a lot longer for me to answer a big, massive question. Um, so if you do email me, try and like keep the email as concise as possible. Try and make the question either very obvious at the start or the bottom of the email, just so that when I'm scanning through them, I can easily pick them out and say, okay, that's this question and I'll have an answer for it. By the way, for those of you who are struggling to do um, reality checks, I think I mentioned before that there are these little stickers I made. Let me show you. These little Are You Dreaming stickers, you can just get these by searching online for howtolucid.com sticker and you'll see this. I've got them everywhere. The light switches. So what did you think of this new Q&A <laughs> style? Um, I think it's going to be a bit easier to answer a lot of questions at the same time instead of having you know one video per question because a lot of these questions don't really need an entire video to explain them. You know, they're usually quite simple.